Chelsea, if one of your best offensive performances of the season, uh, just what was working for you tonight? Um, being able to see the ball go through the basket, if I'm honest, um, I was able to get into the paint a little bit and got into a little bit of a flow. Um, and then KP came to the huddle, was like, you need to shoot the three. So I, I let it fly. And once it went in, you know, um, everything kind of started opening up for me. Um, you hit a couple of like really clutch shots that's like had of faded away to yours. Um, and uh, it seemed like at other parts of the season, you know, there's a little bit short. Um, and so for you, just how did it feel to see those go in and do you feel more like yourself? Yeah, for sure. I've been feeling like myself after I would say Olympic break. Um, that was about the timing that you want to be playing your best basketball in September, October, right? And so, um, some of those hard times in those games where I got frustrated, um, I just trust the process and I know I put the work in. So it's never a question on that side of it. So I got to kind of surrender myself to the result. And that's what I've been doing. And it paid off tonight. Tyler, you got anything? Callie, you got anything? Nikias? Oh, sorry. I unmuted. Um, Kelsey, there was a, do you remember the halftime interview? There was one question that you were asked early, and I don't remember it, but you said come back to me as your answer. Do you remember what that question was and what you, I guess, wanted to say? Uh, it was something about, like, getting defensive stops or something like that. And, I mean, I thought we did a great job as a team, but Kelsey Mitchell was cooking. She had a couple on me as well, so I was like, I don't want to say anything stupid, so I just said, come back to me. Perfect answer. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, that answer, and then we have good players is, is making its round on social media right now. You saying we have good players when she was asked um, how you guys were. Every time. This is why. This is why Hashtag I, don't Kelsey have, Plum. I don't even have social media on my phone. No, what she asked was, and to be fair, she was like, wow, anytime Indiana makes a run, you guys just make your, like, find a way to come back. And I'm like... I mean, yeah, I mean, no offense, but like, we have good I, well, I would hope so. <laughs> Not like disrespectful, but you know what I'm saying? Like, we have competitors. Like, yeah, like, pick one. That's what I meant. Like, that was good. <laughs> she, she's always on me, but I, you know what? People these days just don't they say just... the truth. Like, Am I wrong, Kate? <laughs> because I, sometimes I'd be feeling like I'm crazy. I'm like, not crazy, am I crazy? I think basketball is a game of runs, and so you would expect us to come back, I guess. It seems like an awesome no, I thought that was a great answer. No, I'm not criticizing the answer. I was just letting you know it's it, people liked the answer. Whatever. The oh, people that's are. good. <laughs> Let's go. I, I'm a woman of people, I guess. Matthew, did you like the answer? I, I like anything Kelsey says, to be honest with you. Thank you. Um, but my question is, playing two games in three days against the same opponent um, and obviously being able to come away with two wins, how do you feel, guys feel like this helps prepare you for the playoffs, especially that first round when you're going to have to play two games in three days against the same team? I think it's huge. Um, anytime you can get those types of games um, throughout a season, it prepares you how you prepare your body, like not even like scout or getting on the court and how you can change things X and O's wise, but how you prepare your body, how you recover mentally, how do you watch film comparisons from game one to game two? And there's little tweaks that can make you win a series by making differences. Um, and it starts off the court. It starts pregame. It starts with a conversation. So anytime you have an opportunity to kind of do that um, in the midst of a season, it's really, really important to kind of lock in on that series at that moment. Incoming. Hey, yeah. Um, this is for either or both of you. Uh, you know, Mitch talked about like, the two games against two opponents in three days. Both of those games have felt pretty emotional in different ways. Um, felt a little chippy. Katie, uh, do it. You know, I just wanted to ask, like, if there's also something extra for y'all or, like, just your take on that. For me, I was excited for Asia to break the record. So that was my emotion, and that's um, what our locker room really wanted. Um, kept it inside there. And, uh, you know, outside forces tries to make the narrative or have a conversation, but our conversation is always about each other. And so I was excited for her to kind of break that record. We douse water on her. So um, <laughs> that, was, that, that was good, right? Spell that. Douse, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. Um, so that's what I was excited for, man. She, yeah. And, um, you know, she took the crown on that. So that's been the conversation in our locker room.
that cold water situation. Oh, cold, warm, whatever. She got it. Two more to close out before we bring on coach. Yeah, I care as far as sports. Um, it's been an up and down season for you ladies. Do y'all feel like you guys are hitting out for at the right time and ready to defend the two time champions? I mean, I think for us, we're just focused on the next game. You know, we play Connecticut, they're one of the best teams in the league, um, super tough. And, uh, you know, we have a tough remaining schedule. So, to be honest, like, we got to focus on what's in front of us, take it a game at a time. And, uh, you know, whenever we get to the playoffs, we'll lock in them. But to to me, like, this isn't, you know, my focus is on the next game, and that's a, that's how it's going to stay. And last question, I don't expect you ladies to actually necessarily have an answer for this. Today's the third anniversary of when we retired Coach Hammond's jersey. Let's go! <laughs> she be throwing them ducks. <laughs> but like three years. That's only three years ago. No socks. Let's go! No socks. Just looking back at the three years, if you can, then we got more work to do with this. What's that three years been like? It's been... Uh, you want to go first? Yeah, I mean, I'll start. I mean, Coach has changed my career. I feel like... Um, you know, as, as a player, you need um, a coach to believe in your potential. And I, I'm just I'm just grateful to God for you. So um, I'll run through a wall. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep the ship moving. Same for me. Um, there's a level of um, empowering that she does every time she speaks to us. And I think that's changed my career and allowing me to make mistakes, allowing people – barely talked about my IQ before this. They would say, oh, she's pretty smart. But her allowing me to really showcase that um, it's up my level of play and game. And, you know, she's come in and we've won. Um, she's created and cultivated a culture that is unmatched. And you can't, you, you can't fake it. And so she's kind of created that environment in our locker room, in our, like, whenever you're around us, it's, it's fun to come to work every day and play for a coach like that. So, um we love her. She gets on our nerves, but we love her. <laughs>